hello everyone welcome back to wix ideas i'm walter and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to print any page on your wix website or your wix studio website now if you get to this page on my website wixideas.com slash tutorials you're going to get over to the tutorials page where you have a list of all the tutorials on my youtube channel which you can totally check out and copy the code for these tutorials now when i click on a tutorial let's say you're going to click on this example here which is add search to your wix lightbox and display results on another page when you click on that it's going to bring you to a dynamic page that contains information about that particular tutorial now on the very top part you can see an icon that allows you to click on and print this page now when you scroll all the way down you can see all the information about this particular tutorial including the code that was used in this tutorial but let's say that you want to enable your site visitors to click on an icon and print that particular page you're going to go ahead and click on this particular icon and when you click on that it's going to print that page now this is very similar to how you use your browser to print any page on windows you just need to click on ctrl p and that will print the page or you can just simply right click and over here it says print you can print this page as a pdf and you can also go over to this um, section or icon over here and you can click on the print here to print that particular page but let's say you want to embed this feature directly in your website and you want users to click on an icon which you can totally customize the icon to however you want it to look like then this is the best tutorial for you now when you click on this as you can see it prints out the entire page now i'm going to share with you how to add this step by step into your wix classic site or your wix studio website now before we actually continue just want to let you know that this feature only works for premium wix website so if your website is paid for is it premium plan or it has a subscription on it then this tutorial is going to work well for you but if you're using a free plan it's not going to work and i'm going to show you why shortly now just before we dive in and get started with this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to my channel youtube tells me that most viewers are not subscribed yet so i would really appreciate it if you can just go ahead and click on that subscribe button and also turn on your bell notification to be the very first to know when i release amazing videos like this and if you have any question about this tutorial or other tutorials you can reach me directly on wixideas.com or you can also leave me a comment in the comment section of this video now let's jump right in great so this is my website and this is how the dynamic page that we just saw looks like on the back end or the editor and i want to add an extra icon to this particular heading section so the users can see more actions and click on to print out this page now the element that we need here is a html element so we're going to go over to the plus sign over here and we're going to go all the way to embed code and then you're going to go over to the embed html all you need to do is just to go ahead and click to add to site and when you click on that you can see that we have an html element where you can paste in your code and you can have this icon directly on your website now this is the code that we're going to be using for this particular tutorial and this is the code we're going to be adding to our html elements now what this code does is that it allows us to add our custom icon it also allows us to indicate the domain or url of our website and it's also going to send a message to a javascript code that we're going to add later on let it know that it needs to print that particular page where we're currently on now over here you can see that we have a css code or a style here and this is how our print icon actually looks like and the size and how it behaves on our website and over here we also have a javascript that allows us to indicate what page or what website we're working with now most importantly we also have another part of the html where we indicate the icon that we're using to print this page now last over here we have also a script that indicates what message is being sent out to our javascript we're going to add later on in this tutorial now the two things that you need to change here are the url of your website so you're going to go ahead and copy the url of the website so once you get your website go over to the address bar and then you're going to go ahead and copy this particular url then you're going to bring this url back to this page and you're going to paste that url here now once you're done this is the url for your icon as you can see it spans all the way from this https to the svg now this is a vector graphic and as you can see over here this is the source so what you're going to do is you're going to look for an icon that you really like and goes also with the design and the framework of your website and then you're going to go ahead and download it and upload it to your wix website let me show you how first you're going to go to this website called flaticon.com and you're going to go ahead and search for prints now once you do you're going to see a bunch of icons that are printers 
and you're gonna go ahead and look for the icon that really really resonates your brand now for the sake of this tutorial i'm gonna go ahead and click on this particular icon and over here you can go ahead and download the svg file now if you're on a free plan you may not be able to have the option to download an svg however you can go ahead and use the png and for the sake of this tutorial i'm gonna go ahead and use the png now once you have downloaded this particular file you're gonna head back to your wix website now once you're on your wix website you're gonna head over to the media and over here you're going to go ahead and upload your media so go to show more and then you're gonna go over to this upload media and then upload from your computer now i've just uploaded my item from my computer and it's uploading currently into the website and once you're done go over to this file info and over here you're gonna scroll all the way down till you get to the url now go ahead and copy this url now what we just did is we are hosting this icon on our wix website and you need to make sure that no one deletes this icon if not it's not going to show up later on if it's deleted from your website you're going to copy that link back to your code and over here you're going to replace this icon over here you're going to replace this url with the url you just copied from your wix website and over here you can see that this icon has been updated now all you need to do is just to control a and you're going to control c or copy this entire code to your html element now we are back to our html element and inside of the code section i'm going to go ahead and paste in my code and i'm going to click on update now once i'm happy with what it is you can see that that icon has updated and this is what we want it to look like now you can go ahead and just make sure that this item works out perfectly as you can see when i increase the height the scroll bar has disappeared and here you can go ahead and resize it from the edge and you can just drag that and drop on any part of your website where you like that icon to be now this is not all it's going to be we're still going to add one last piece of our code to our website and this is where the premium plan is necessary for wix users or wix studio users now over here we have a very very short script that is going to receive a message from our front end now the message we are receiving is print and once that message is received we're going to use the window.print to print out that particular page now go ahead and copy this code again now once you're there head over to your dashboard click on the wix logo now that is going to bring you to your wix dashboard and over here we're going to head all the way to the settings so once you click on the settings you're going to scroll all the way down to you get to the advanced section where you have your custom code now click on your custom custom code and at the very top here you can see that you can add a custom code to your website now click on add custom code and here you're going to paste in that code you just copied here you can give it a name and say print page script and you're going to leave everything as it is so you're going to leave for all pages load once and you're going to leave this to place the code in the head section of your website now go ahead and click on apply now once you're done you have nothing else to do here other than to publish your website and view this page on a live site all right so i have just published my website and here again i am on this page and as you can see the icon has updated to the icon i just added and when i click on this icon it's going to go ahead and print this page now if you scroll all the way down you can see that the entire page was printed and you can click on save to save this to your computer now just for testing purposes let's go ahead and click on another particular item as you can see that as an, an item there and we're going to click on another tutorial and we click on this particular tutorial we also have the option to print this page when you click on print you can see that this page was also printed so this is how you can print any page on your wix website and i just use the dynamic pages as a case study for this tutorial now this can also work on a static page and it works exactly the same on your wix studio website so if you have your wix studio website feel free to use this code and it's going to work exactly the same now if this tutorial was a massive help to you please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like and you can check out my other tutorials and amazing features that you can add to your wix website or your wix studio website an example here is this exit intent pop-up on wix studio which works amazingly well as well on your wix classic site and if you're still using the editor x it also works well there thank you very much and i will see you in the next tutorial